The following video, along with the channel it's on, is intended for a general audience over the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. TLEV Media, bringing the magic of the theme parks to your home. From vlogs to interviews, TLEV Media is entertainment for all. <laughs> what is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to what is... A construction update slash the very last day that Universal Studios, The Walking Dead, all day attraction will be open at the park. That's right. Tomorrow, March 4th, the entire attraction that was The Walking Dead will be closed. So I'm here today, joined by Matt. Hello. And we're going to go through that thing. And uh, yeah, and it's also Matt's, it's going to be Matt's first time going through. First time, baby. So it's gonna be exciting. We're also gonna see some other construction update because Secret Life of Pets is also a huge update. Let's go. All right. So we're here on Baker Street, right next to The Walking Dead. And we are gonna do that right now in a minute. But as you can see, just from right here, the walls are now down on Pets Place. So let's go check it out and get a better look at exactly what Pets off the leash is gonna bring us in just a couple weeks. Were we like three weeks away? About, yeah, March 27th. So let's check it out. So it's super exciting to be able to just be this close to Pets Place. And more importantly, like the pet store and all this facade area because for a long time this has been blocked off to us. And now it's it's open, you know, we can we can walk up to these windows and just check out everything that they've done. Also, the Palace Deli Market's other entrance is also now open. It looks like they're missing a sign up here. That'll probably come later when all of this is like officially done. It also looks like they're doing something over here. It's a In virtual ticket line. Interesting. Oh, maybe they're... Have a great day. Have fun. Good to see everybody. Now we're talking. Interesting. So this is the virtual line queue or ticket place for... Secret Life of Pets, Pets Off the Leash, and it looks like maybe they're testing it out? Maybe they're doing ride tests today? But this is, this is the, the big one, this is it, man. This is the ride that we've all been waiting for. Look at that. Wow. Is, is this your first time seeing this? No, the front entrance wasn't finished when I first saw it. Uh -huh. This looks completely new and it looks all nice. Oh yeah. Uh, no. Before I think it was just the doors and no trim. Uh, the front porch area wasn't finished, so it looks really nice. Yeah, no, it looks incredible. And we do now. Last time we came, the this sign was covered up. Uh, now it's officially open, and it's got our opening date, March 27th. The ride height uh, indicator is also now uh, installed, as well as the seat, the test riding seat is right here um sorry pulling away they've covered it up i'm assuming it'll probably be unveiled closer to march 27 probably a little bit before uh just so that everybody can see what it looks like but yeah we've heard people say that it's gonna be like a box like you know how like you when a puppy gets abandoned they put them in a box uh -huh. so that's what the what the test ride's gonna be okay. and the ride has 64 animatronics inside. Oh wow, that's a lot. It's a lot of animatronics, <laughs> and they're using like super advanced technology, and it's gonna be super cool. Like they're gonna turn you into a puppy, and you're gonna find your perfect home in this ride. And it seems like that by the size of the ride carriage, because that looks like it's for what for two people. Yeah, I would probably say two people. And that looks kind of small. Yeah. So interesting. <laughs> Side note. 
Mulligan's Irish Pub is back open. It's been closed for quite a while, so uh, once again, just come on over. Drop your kids off and off the leash and minions. Mom and Dad, come inside and get yourself a drink. So we're over here, across from Pets Off the Leash, and we're looking at the what used to be Gru's Lab Cafe. Oh my God, <laughs> the water super fill and silly fun land just fell. But yeah, it's it's looking great. They're adding more minions every day. I, I don't remember this being up here, the this way to super silly fun land sign. Um, yeah, the retheming of this place looks great. I'm wondering still if it's gonna be still Gru's super uh, Gru's Lab Cafe. Uh, if they're gonna have the same menu, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But as of today, which is March 3rd, this is what we're working with so far. <laughs> hey, you're the best. Oh, look at him go! Hey! Hey! So I'm here with Matt, and it's hey, his it going, first time, and also probably his last time going through the Walking time. Dead attraction. Are you excited? A little bit. You've never been? No, I've never been. Uh, I was always told uh, like bad reviews about it. It's, <laughs> it's a little boring, I've been told, so that's why it's always pushed me off of it. But let's give it a try because it's the last day. So hey, let's, go. let's get it. So we're out here in front of The Walking Dead, waiting for its last ever set, which opens at 4.15 till 5, and then after that, it is no more until Horror Nights. Is, is it bittersweet? I don't know. Like, I feel bad that it's leaving, but like, you guys know we have beef with this, with this maze. Like, it promised so much, and then nothing. So, I don't know. Am I ready for it to go? Am I ready for it to go? You went through and you liked it. I did like it. But it was also your first time going through. But I also saw like why you guys gave it so much hate. And it was like hate. It's just, it was empty promises and like, I get it. Right. Because it was supposed to adapt with the show and it never did. And it just like, kind of stayed stagnant and it just, became a maze that mm -hmm. was it and it was never updated and never looked back to again it sucks but it for me I think it's a good change because this just means that they're gonna actually do something with it besides right. just a false promise it again so it's a needed change I think we come outside to see everybody lined up getting ready to go through the very last set of The Walking Dead That's exciting. It should be fun, man. Oh my god. That's impressive. And it's like, it's not even open yet. It's like, where, what time is it? It is. It's like 56 or something like that. 4.01. It's 401. So we still got like 14 minutes left and the crowd's already starting to build up out here. <laughs> we'll let you guys how we'll let you guys know how it goes. Hey Rick, how you doing? How you doing man? Chilling. Can't wait for midsummer screen. Right, brother. We just saw Rick West, he's in front of the Walking Dead attraction, handing out awesome pins, commemorative pins of the very last day that the Walking Dead's gonna be open. I already got mine. Yeah, They're, that's super awesome of them to be doing that, and it's, it's just, I mean, you gotta love Midsummer Screen. And honestly, I, I just can't wait to go back to Long Beach later this year and enjoy it. Of course, the infamous Don't Dead open inside. Oh my god. We're in here. Everybody 
everybody is kind of held up in that hallway taking their last picture of the don't open dead inside doorway. Let's give you guys a last look at pretty much everything that's in here. Everything's gonna be gone. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Well, uh, once we get up to the front, we'll see if we can actually film our last walkthrough through this attraction. We're currently waiting in line uh, to, well, wait for this thing to open. Again, I'm here with um, Matt. JP is over there, but he was with us for a while. I'm here with other Matt. Uh, he's on Instagram at Matt by Photography. Yes. Definitely check him out. He's got awesome just photos of the park and everything. He's super cool, and we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for this thing to open. So, we just went through the Walking Dead attraction again for the last, maybe the last time. Maybe what time does it close at? So five? 4.50ish. 4.50ish. So maybe we might go again, try to get them the last, very last one. Um, there's just a crowd of people right behind me, you can see, that have all come together to just go through this maze again. One last time. So everybody's currently rushing in to get into the very last, to be the very last people to go through the Walking Dead attraction. Right next to JP Land again. Exciting. Theme Park Obsessions over there. JP Land's right here. Theme Park Sharks back there. We're all here, we're all excited for the very end of The Walking Dead, at least for the time being. Because it is going to come back for Halloween Horror Nights. It's gonna be crazy. Matt, so your thoughts. What's, what's, what's running through your head right now? When I first went through this, pretty underwhelming. Then again, I never got the chance to go through the House of Horror, so it was a first taste of what this was. Okay. But today, they're on their A game. It's crazy what they were doing. I absolutely have to agree with Matt. Like, they, the walkers inside, as if they know, well, they know it's their last time, and they're going out with a bang because they're literally lunging at you. They. I've always been hit in the face a few times. That's it's insane how close they are getting, how just on their A game they are. It's super cool to see. That's it. That's it. There it is. There it is. That's it. That's it. That's official. That's it. Last group. Last group. We are going to be the last people inside. Woo! Let's do it. Going through. Just taking a little look at everything one last time and of course the names here underneath the founders we've got John Murdy, Chris Williams, Greg Nicotero, all the people that helped make this thing possible. Currently now just waiting to go through. That's the end of the line. It's insane. Oh man house lights just went up. What's going on? What's going on? Lights turned on. Down. Okay. <laughs> I like this. That's cool. Hey, it looks it's nice in here. In like this. <laughs> yeah, let, let, let us go with just lights on the entire time. That'd be yeah, cool. Right? The music stopped too. Get rid of the whole illusion. Okay. Oh. Oh, are they letting more people in? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is something going down? Oh no. Oh, there we go. We're back. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's spooky. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very hard to believe. Definitely. Oh, it's dark man. And this isn't working. Maybe that's where it broke down. What a shame. Our last look at Don't Dead open inside. Slowly and by slowly, they're just leaving emptiness behind. The express line is full. It, is, it appears as though that they're going to let the original cast enter in last. Only seems fair. 
But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be the last of the general general line to go in. We were the last of the general public to go through The Walking Dead. All they did change it. A walkthrough attraction. Hi Evan. That's Evan. He's the best. I believe that's that's it. That's all she wrote. That's right, Matt. That's all she wrote. The Walking Dead all day attraction is now closed. Sad day. For some. For others, a blessing in disguise? Who knows? Only time will tell. But everybody here is super either just full of emotion I should say not good not bad just full of emotion to see another attraction close to the park people going crazy people waving hands the French ladies are sad <laughs> <laughs> so we figured out why the walkers didn't come out it's because they're going to keep the actors in there until HHN and when that opens up then the actors will come out but until then there are actors stuck in there no food no water we'll see you guys they don't need it. They don't need it. That's why they do it. They're zombies. Exactly. They're zombies. They don't need it. You know? They're, they're chilling. Big chilling. So, we'll see you back at HHN, homie. We're standing now in front of the secret life of pets after experiencing the closing of The Walking Dead. Um, because, well, I don't know. <laughs> well, okay, so JP actually was able to get a reservation for the ride, which was a little odd because, the again... Doesn't open until the 27th. So we're kind of just over here trying to see why he got a reservation. <laughs> just taking a taking a walk down. Uh, let's Crazy, how did you do this? Yeah, how let's did you do this? Let's see what happens if I ask about it. True. 
Because I got a virtual queue for it. What is it? What exactly? What shows up? Okay, so we go to Secret Life of Pets. Uh huh. Virtual line pass, and then I got this. He's got a QR code. Look at this. He's got a home. He's got a QR code. <laughs> what is this? I'm telling you, dude, we're testing it earlier. I bet you he looked on and got a QR this code. This was about an hour ago. Yeah, what dude. Is this? They passed by. They were doing. They're printing out tickets as well at the virtual line. What? So. Absolutely. They're not gonna let you win, though. Right? <laughs> it's worth the shot. Go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's see if this is actually gonna work or if it's gonna flop. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Hi, I actually got a virtual line for this ride. <laughs> so well, the app is just being tested out. Okay. You can ride it again. <laughs> that just means you're first in line, bro. You already got it. You already got a ticket, bro. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Don't worry, JP. That just means you first in line. Yeah. First one right here. Look, I'm, I'm filming history right now. First guy to go on this ride. You know what? If they're if they're ever to soft open this ride, I hope it's not the day I'm going to Disneyland. Because <laughs> they're, I mean, I'm going to Disney on Saturday. They go, people. Yeah. Disney is a Saturday. JP Land's gonna be there. Hunt them down. Hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> also, for those who come and visit Pets Place right in front of Despicable Me and The Secret Life of Pets is actually a nod to T2. And that comes from this little sign right here that says Protected by Cyberdyne. For those who are unaware, Cyberdyne is the corporation that created the Terminators. So that's exciting. Super cool. I cannot wait for this ride to be open. Virtual line tickets, you come over here and get it. No, they got rid of the underground. Rest in peace, the underground. Oh, it looks like it's Otto's Toys. You can see like a little teddy bear. Huh, this is probably like a toy store then, where you could probably get some merch for Secret Life of Pets. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I know I said it was gonna be a construction video. I lied, it was mostly The Walking Dead. But that's because we were here, just checking it out, saying goodbye to the ride. We had a lot of fun, we saw a lot of people. It was a good experience. We're currently on these motorcycles because we're about to ride out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button to let us know that you liked it and that you wanna see more content like this. If you're already on the channel, please subscribe for more content like this video and other stuff. If you want to follow us on social media, go ahead. It's TLV Media across the board. If you want to follow us on our personal social media, it is down in the description below. We also have a website. Don't forget to check it out. That's TLVmedia.com where you can see more articles about all types of cool stuff. I've been Josue. I've been Matt. This is the motorcycle. And we're we're going to skedaddle. Head out. Yeah.